we've heard a lot about corruption. But let me say that it is the deadliest disease that has ever visited our country. I checked yesterday and Google told me that 1.3 million people die in road accidents alone because of our bad roads. Because somebody is having the road money in his or her pocket. But it is not acceptable that in 2023, the road from capital to a regional capital is like what you see when coming from Accra. Because people have houses all over the world, not only in Accra, at our expense. And we cannot talk. Let me say that people don't appreciate the role that corruption plays in our society. Just go to our hospitals and you will see the poor level of service delivery and the low bed syndrome. My younger sister died two years ago because Kolebu could not find a bed for her for five days. That is the extent to which corruption is eating us as a people. And we are looking on. When I saw the Asafu group, I said, ah, we have all these guys. Let's fight. We are not angry enough. At independence, Ghana was started as ahead of Singapore and Malaysia, etc. Go there and now and see. You will regret it as a Ghanaian. This Bismarck performance are celebrated by our shameless leaders. They want us to hail them for this mediocre performance. I don't think we can accept this. And want the leadership of this country. That if you push us to the wall, you see the animal in us. You can take people for granted. People are nice, people are simple. You continue treating them the way they are treating us. So enough is enough.